thing I've been talking about just with everybody else in the cast and people who have been sort of in this, involved in this process from the beginning is just how like incredibly profoundly inspiring it is to see a project like this that means so much to David finally come to fruition. And you know, I think we, we've all seen different versions of this. We've all seen various edits. And I think at this point, it's it's really strong. He's you know he's 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 crafted each of our performances so that they're you know they're as good as they can be. And I, I think um, it is just really moving. I mean, it's been two years in post. It's been three years, you know, just making this film. And it's been, as he said inside, something like 20, 25 years trying to bring this story to where it is now. And I think it's just an incredible achievement. It's hard not to be inspired by what he's what he's accomplished. Sometimes when you're involved in something for such a long time, it's easy to sort of forget that an audience is going to see it at some yeah. point. The emotion in there was pretty intense tonight. Absolutely. Were you surprised by that? I, I wasn't. I don't know if I was surprised by it because it's so. It is such a moving story fundamentally. I mean, there's and the fact that you know it comes so much of it comes out of David's experience. I think it's always it has never failed to move me, but. There is nothing quite like being in a room full of people who haven't seen it before and just feeling the, that, that quality of silence where people are suddenly actually ta you know, taken to that other place. It's, it's, it, was, it was lovely. It, it was the silence, actually, that really struck me. Yeah. There was obviously big cheers for the cast and for David, but then you could have heard a pin drop in there. It was amazing. There so were a few times. Yeah, there were a few moments where you could, you know, I think, uh, some, you know, someone was telling me that, you know, the, the, when the, the first time that... Trent, who plays Dan, was, uh, actually says I was in love with him. That I think it just broke everybody's hearts right there because it's been something. It's been so hard for him to even know that or own it or anything, and you know, that he kind of lets it out. It's just gorgeous. A few of the cast members I spoke to tonight have all said that it's quite a grueling schedule filming yeah. it. It's been a long road to getting it here. That everyone feels really sort of bonded for life. What do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, I think it was. It was 19, I think it was 19 days, and it was 19 miserable fucking days. I mean, it was grueling. And, uh, you know, because really you're trying to make a 20, a $20 million picture or $50 million picture for 800000 or whatever it was. Um, and, you know, the weight of that has to fall somewhere, which is on everybody on, on set all the time. So, so, yeah, I think we are all kind of bonded by that. But it's... It is really gratifying to see what to, to find to see the result. It is, he, I think David's made something that does really matter, and I think that's pretty wonderful. I think we hit the nail on the head with that. And next week, this film rolls out nationwide. It's pretty exciting. It's very exciting. I think it's so much more than a gay story. So we've talked about this before, but what is it that you're hoping, after seeing the audience's reaction tonight, that people are going to take away from this? Well. You know, I, I, it, it's hard not to speak from the, the point of view of having someone has, who played my character, but I think what's really, it is this really beautiful thing that David's done, which is, you know, throughout the movie, you're sort of drawn into this, this story that is this gay love story, but it's just sort of a beautiful love story. But the way that he has, that he's able to have, I mean, my character in the end calls Dan you know, the worst, the worst thing that he could have called him. But the film and David still have compassion for that character and still want to make it clear that the difficulty of dealing with someone like, like a, a, with, with, with the confusion and fear that you might have with someone in your life is coming out, that, that, that is, that, that, that's very real. And that it's not, it's not fair to, dis, to dismiss somebody who might be going through that as prejudiced or ignorant. You have to. It's it's the, the, the larger choice is to, to be compassionate toward them, and I think that's something that definitely the straight community, you know, sort of community of humans, should embrace. Because I think that's it's a very large-hearted point of view, and I think that's what this movie really. I think you just raised actually a really important point: is Bob is not a bad guy. It's just something that's different, and I love the final shot being his son looking out the window towards the next generation. Yeah, I mean, I think. You know, I think that's. The, I've always loved that final shot, and because that is like, no matter how many you know battles are fought today, it is really about that next generation. What what will they grow up with? What are the what are the fundamental premises of their society that they'll that they'll be sort of that will you know that they'll just sort of understand by osmosis. Um, and I think a film like this is trying to change trying to change what those are. So I hope it does. Congratulations, it's a wonderful film. Good luck with it. Thanks. Thank you, Morgan. It's wonderful. Pleasure.